Hey buds, hi all doing? Uh, it's been a while. It's been a while, compadre. compadre. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, how, however you said that. What you're seeing now on screen is Minecraft in its first version, or one of the first. And you may ask why you are showing me this. And I'm pretty sure that you will understand you now sometime. Um, this is my new series. This series is called the Y. Yeah, like like the letter. And uh, Y even because I'm going to pick some of my favorite game uh, and uh, just dive into the world of those games. And uh, I thought, what better game than Minecraft for starting? And uh, so there we are. There we are. Um, I will talk about my inactivity in another video, uh, a little more, bit more chill, like a bad or something like that. But uh, I'm finally able to create something of better because I made an upgrade and uh, I'm very proud of that. And I just want to, to have fun and uh, I just want to tell you a story. So, welcome back to Minecraft, welcome back to Yokai was Trivial. And uh, this is Minecraft, Minecraft Y. Enjoy. So, let's start with some normal question, like, what is Minecraft, for anyone that is new? Uh, Minecraft, basically, it's a sandbox game, as we all know, where you can pretty much create anything that you want, uh, with the only limit of the blocks. It was found by Mark Sperson, aka Notch, in 2009, and it was first called Cave Game. It wasn't a great name, I will be honest with you all, I, did, I don't really like that name, but you know, it is what it is. Now it's Minecraft, that is pretty weird as a name, but uh, it has everything in its name. Um, so Minecraft uh, is from Mojang, that is always from Notch, and is the house of Minecraft, like every single game that Minecraft, uh, that is Minecraft associated is from Mojang, like Minecraft Dungeon or all the stuff like that. Until 2014, uh, when Microsoft actually managed to buy Minecraft, and they made a lot of money by that. <laughs> Trust me, that that's, that was just a big deal. Um, so, Minecraft came out with a lot of version that I think that is one of the most important thing of this game. Because uh, this game is always in an evolution. And uh, I think that continuing to having different updates for more or less every year. It's a very big thing in a, in a sandbox game where you can just create everything that you want. So, what makes Minecraft so special? Um, all the thing about the version bring us to this point. And uh, I think uh, Minecraft is so special because you can play it however you want. So we have three different versions, survival, creative, and for the most brave, hardcore. And uh, survival and hardcore are pretty much the same, with the only difference that you can actually respawn in survival and you can't respawn in hardcore, and hardcore is even harder. But uh, as the wiki says, uh, creative, uh, in creative mode you have all the resources that you need, and uh, you can just uh, destroy block instantly, uh, you're, you basically can do whatever you want, you are like a god. Uh, instead, in survival, you are uh, like a survivor, as the name says, and you have to collect resources, build structure while surviving. Uh, you have to do a lot of stuff together, but it's very fun anyway. I think it's the most fun. It's even the most plain. This brings us to a point: server. Server are like uh, one of the most great thing that this game has with all the other stuff of course <laughs> and uh, another thing is mod mod and servers are like a big uh, a big possibility for this game i think that actually this improves the gaming experience by a lot because 
you can play whatever you want pretty much with mods and server and that's just no, that's just wonderful because uh, you can play different game modes uh, non vanilla thing uh, everything have its own space in this game let's talk about a very important thing in this game the atmosphere so basically uh, what we are seeing now and what you are going to hear now it's a masterpiece uh, from C418 that it's actually even one of the first uh, player of the game and uh, the composer of most of the soundtrack nowadays the soundtrack are not anymore from him but uh, from Lane Rain that create other side and Pinkstep that are actually two masterpieces that I love but I really want to wait a second and uh, think about this game and think about the music and uh, his role in the game and uh, I think I will just let you see with your own eyes, let you hear with your own ear and uh, so just lay down and we are seeing in a minute let's go Did you like the trip? <laughs> we are going to do another one in a while, in a, in a minute, like, no, in maybe a second. Even this is not the right place for playing this. No, 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 no. Let's go somewhere better. Let's go in the deep of hell. So, I would really like to let you enjoy the music, but I want to talk about the other dimension that actually are a pretty important part of the game. Um, Nether in particular is the first dimension that we're going to explore and uh, it's probably the, one of the best dimension because of the new update, uh, Nether update uh, uh, 1.16 um, and I think that uh, the music uh, ear and the sound effect that uh, I'm going to let you here later because right now I want to let you hear the music just makes this dimension very particular so just have fun looking at this Now let's go back to the other world. For something maybe even more scarier than the hell. We are talking about a very masterpiece of C418. 11. This just brings you an unsettling feeling of escaping and of running around. This is particularly good for a very few motivation. So most of you probably know that uh, this game is covered by creepypasta. 
like uh, Airbrine or Entity 303 and even if uh, nowadays those are not anymore that famous and not anymore that relevant it actually has its own scary part cave sound actually are scary cave, sc cave sound actually are unsettling as disc 11 is unsettling and a lot of people on reddit asked why they made this unsettling well i think i have an answer i think that this game basically as i said is based on the feelings and on the creativity on of your personality so even uh, if we don't like uh, a creepy feeling a scary feeling i think uh, that you should embrace it anyway because it's part of the game right now i'm letting you hear one of the most uh, beautiful sound effect sounds effects actually are more than one and uh, i'm talking about the nether that actually create a pretty unsettling atmosphere So, last but not least, we are talking about the gameplay, that basically it's one of the most important parts of the game, in every single game pretty much. This game actually have a, even if it's kinda weird to say, it come to an end. Um, and the end is actually a dimension, and it's the end, <laughs> it's like, okay, that's just weird to say. But uh, when you reach the end and you defeat the dragon, can canonically, you finish the game. Even because there is a long part um, where you can see a lot of lore of Minecraft. Even it's a, if it is kinda weird and even hard to understand, you are like reaching a, a new world level in your experience of gaming. Uh, this game. Uh, of course, the gameplay just changed a lot based on what you want to do. Uh, as I said, the battle with the dragon uh, is just the end for a survival player, but it can be the, <laughs> the very start for <laughs> just like a speedrunner. It can be, it can never arrive if you're a creative player. Uh, it just depends on how you want to play. And I think that, furthermore, um, there is a, a big thing about this game. Uh, and this is going to be probably the motivation because a lot of person just like played it. It's the most played game of all time. All time. This game, created by a boy in 2009, is just like the most played game of all time. And I think uh, we just should think about that. Think about how great your work can be by just having an idea. And uh, I want, of course, give a big shout out to the entire team of uh, Minecraft for creating such a game. Because uh, <laughs> this is not just a simple game. This is just something of very different from everything else that we ever saw on a screen so thank you so much for watching buds uh, I am going to I'm back um, and I hope you enjoy this format I will go ahead and talk about other games um, creating new content uh, I'm ready to start over again uh, so stay tuned I hope you really enjoyed, this took me a lot of time, so please 
consider subscribing and liking the video. And uh, see you soon, buds. Bye. Take care. In a lot of different ways. I was saying right now that, in fact, ah, uh, <laughs> cat. <laughs> ah! Now I have to take the entire thing again. Uh.